My name's Ross Gates and we live 30 k south of Kenya. Trading Gates is our main, main enterprise from growing out the smalls from that and, and also breeding dud stock and uh, yeah we do a bit of everything, a bit of a few sheep, a few cows and um, but yeah mainly goats. Yeah. Everyone's got goats on their place within the area so yeah in, when people can't get enough to send to the abattoir they'll muster them and then sell them to us and, and then we draft them up into different lines and then sell them on from there. So it's just a matter of getting enough numbers together to be able to put them in certain lines to send them to the best abattoir for the job. Uh, yeah when it was getting dry a few years ago we were using trapping a lot more then. So, you know, you'd muster country and then it'd get a bit dry, but it wasn't quite worth mustering again, so then you just set up traps. And we use traps in the heavily timbered country where you can't, you know, you can muster all you want, but you'll only ever get 70 or 80% of it out. Yeah. And therefore, we'll set traps there as well. That's probably the easiest way to get a clean result. Yeah. yeah. Permanent trap the dams because obviously you can't just turn them off and then just choose the trobs that are most regularly used I guess yeah like if you only wanted to set three traps out of out of six watering points and then just turn your other waters off and um, but yeah obviously your permanent water supplies like your dams if you wanted to trap successfully you'd have to fence them off or put mesh around them or do something. Yeah. My name is Ethan Mans and I work on Digest Station running 4,000 crossbred meat sheep on Roy's and then probably 3,000 rangeland goats. Uh, this is the old tank square. Um, we've now pushed the tank out and desilted it and then made a bigger holding yard and a wing that goes into the yards. We've made a little yard off the tank square to set our portable set of yards up, whatever way you want to set it up. The main purpose of this holding yard is for goats and sheep. It's got plenty of trees, it's got plenty of water and it doesn't stress the animals out because it's a bigger area. You need to make sure they've got a bit of shade and, and food in the trap and, and um, like if you only want to trap 50 or 100 well then you know 20 panels around the trough is probably alright but if you want to trap two or three thousand well then you really need 500 metres, well 500 metres or something, you know, like from the, especially if you've got a dam stuck in the middle of it, that takes up a fair bit of room. So. If we want to trap goats, we just put our trap gates in. Try to make the tank square for the goats friendly. So we put a bit of salt and sometimes a little bit of feed, get them used to coming in, and then slowly we'll decrease the um, gates so they slowly get more and welcome to going through the trap gate. Training them, everyone's got their own way of training, but yeah, as a rule, we normally put the panels up around the trough and leave them sit there for oh, a week or 10 days just with one opening in it, and then they get used to going in and out. And then we'll put the trap gate in and just leave it open, like just so they get used to walking in under, underneath it. And then close it a little bit, and then close it a little bit more, and just slowly get them used to pushing in and back out. So you've got an in trap, like an in spear and an out spear. And then we'll close it right up and then they can't get back out or we'll shut the other the single gate in. So they can push in one way and because the spears are on an uh, angle like that, they can't push back out. So when we go to mustering this tank square, it's two people on bikes, we ride around, they go down the wing, straight in the yards and we've got them. I like spear traps, you know, they're easy to move, you can pick them up this afternoon and you know have them set up again by this evening sort of thing you can have them set up somewhere yeah I like the idea of spear traps but I also like the idea of jumping so we tried to do a bit of both yeah we'll set up spear traps and then next to it set up a, a ramp um, and that ramp we only make our ramps out of you know, like the decking and the crates like yeah that'd be 2.4 meters long and probably 600 mil wide and then just have a little platform on the end of them so they can stand there and you know, stand there before they jump off or whatever, because sometimes if you sit there and watch them, they don't want to jump off of that, like they would rather jump off of something level, they don't really want to jump off of that. Yeah. But then dirt ramps, especially on a, on a dam or something that you're going to continuously trap, or something that like a trap that you're not going to move, yeah, dirt ramps would be, I don't know, a bit of tin or something on the fence with a few tyres and a bit of, bit of dirt put in the tyres, and you know, that'd be, that'd be ideal, yeah. We've got three of these tank squares set up at the moment. 
and we want to do a lot more with our tank squares because I think they, they work a, a lot better and they're easy to manage. Yeah, we've, we've got good goat inf infrastructure, it's good for the sheep and then it's a lot easier when you're controlling pests too and it's just a lot easier to manage than a little tank square. Yeah, the, the designs can be as, as cheap or as expensive as you want to make them. Like you can go right out and, and build permanent yards everywhere and, and draft gates and, and you know big flash ramps and whatever you want or if not you can you, know, you can have a door sitting on a 44 gallon drum if you want to just to, just to load them up but um, as long as you've got decent gates, like decent spear gates and yeah and your ramps set up to whatever needs you need. Yeah. You know, sometimes you can't get helicopters and it's a lot easier sometimes to trap um, if you don't have enough people to muster with. It only takes really one person to trap goats. With mustering it takes a few more people and you've got a helicopter and trapping goats is self-mustering. Sometimes it's a lot easier than mustering. You can just go to a tank. Trapping's a good way of getting rid of yeah, numbers that you can't muster, you know, and it'd be surprising. I've, I've always been surprised every time I've closed a trap on how many turn up there and you know you, you do a muster and you think I've had a really good run today you know, you know everyone did well and you know we didn't leave too many behind and the next thing you close the trap up there four and a goat sitting there like so they're a brilliant tool to yeah to get rid of numbers with, without putting a lot of money into it I guess like your, your upfront cost is the only cost so after that you know you can go around with your Toyota and trailer and, and Pick a few goats up every now and again whenever you want to and, and decrease your stopping rate. But you're going to have to have a drink at some point. So.